you as Rinsa, the, the human mm. who, who has to live this life, mm. totally different, I feel. Because mm, mm. you, you, can't, you can't put all your personality into your music. It's only going to be a category of your personality. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not going to be... You're not going to hear me talk about love songs and talking about the streets at, at the same time. I might pop up with a few songs, mm. but I like to make... I want to educate the streets. Because you... Yes, yeah, so, yeah, I get you. One eye open when I'm sleeping. That's it's, educating the streets. It's educating the, if your door knocks... Make sure that you go and check the door. Someone was, oi, stupid. Yeah, this one's mad, yo. Oi, Dumbo, you don't wanna come here and get Dumbo. Last pussy, yo, that tried to get Dumbo. Left in a body back dumb. That's what you got for being Dumbo, oi. Dumbo, you don't wanna come here and get Dumbo. Last pussy, yo, that tried to get Dumbo. Left in a mad just dumb. That's what you got for being Dumbo. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Dot you need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what's it? What's it? Yeah, what's it gonna be? Drinking and smoking. What's it gonna be? Loud in the air. Everybody smoking loud, loud in the air. Everybody smoking loud, loud in the air. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or central as you need to be. I'll tie to the originals, you know what time it is. Sharing is caring, so don't forget to spread the word. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk and everybody that's got the Killer Keller Keller Vision app, you know what it is, boy, now. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the house, now let me give it to you straight, the sultry voice that you've just heard on the intro. Goes without saying. 790 something, God knows how many K views on his viral extraordinary tune it's mad One it's actually album. on it's actually gone that to up to 116 million 116 million yeah. Yeah. Scary, on the seminal tune One Eye Open if you haven't checked I don't know what rock you've been hiding in <laughs> the mighty UK grime garage MC hip hop extraordinaire I mean he's multiverse multi-talented multitask as well rinse him alone could say that brother <laughs> <laughs> how was that for an intro that was excellent for an intro man but these are facts aren't they yeah, yeah, yeah. you've been doing it for a long long time a lot of people probably wouldn't even realise how long you've been doing it no they wouldn't realise uh, because it just seems like I'm just out and about, yeah. just doing it, um, growing up, to, going up to people, and just approaching them. <laughs> you literally go up to people and approach them. Yeah, I like, I like the, um, I like the the, the roads, the streets to um, socialize, man. Mm. There needs to be more socializing, I think. That's an interesting take. I, on. I can't change the world, but I'm a percentage that if I go out and I keep just do that on a like a hobby, mm. then maybe I might help some people come out of their show. You get me? Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, the streets is a habitat. Mm. I think um, I think there's a few that the few artists out there yeah. that really do have embodied in them mm. that level of integration, habitat, city street. That, I mean, Skinny's one of them, big up Skinny Man. Yeah. You know, there's a f- few and far, and far between. Yeah. But you really embody this. And when I see your videos, because mm. t- you're killing it on TikTok as well, mm. Instagram, I mean, you know, you're doing mm. a lot. Mm. And all I see is you integra- interacting, integrating with your environment. Yeah, 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 man. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy, man. you got to discipline yourself to just go out on your own. Mm. Go out to the pub on your own mm. if, you're, if you do music. Go and say hello. If they don't say hello, go and say hello to someone else. But you're a very approachable character. We we went we went and got this drink wagwan, which is my first invite to it. It's training, it's training, it's training, it's training. It's training, right? It's training. If we can training 17.2%, big up wagwan. Hold tight wagwan. Yeah, promote that as well. And the first thing was you were so you were just you were like a magnet, gracious, walking into places. But I I don't think even think your social media does that. That can capture that zeitgeist of, of mm. connectivity that you have. I, I genuinely. don't think so. I don't think so. Like I'll post something, but then it doesn't get the reaction that 
I think it should get. But then yeah. I'm not worried about that because whoever's seen it, seen it, innit? You can't, mm. No one's exactly the same out here. So it, it doesn't... It, the one I got mad views, mad comments, a million likes on a photo, whatever, innit? Like, mm. But what, they know where I am. They know how to find me. Mm. So it's up to you. Mm. Do you think it makes it easier to speak to a generation or at least speak to the streets... I mean, there was, again, just going back to the one I opened, there was a zeitgeist moment in that, mm. where it's like, yo, like, this thing has picked up speed. It's like, mm. it's not just it's not just Garage and Grime heads that like it, mm. it's UK hip hop heads that like it. Yep, um, Fetty Wap yeah. is watching me. I'll type Fetty Wap. I'll type. Um, Summer Walker, Cardi B. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yo, talk that shit. Mm. Real talk. Mm. Um, I find it, I find it, almost inherent with that song that you're able to connect mm. with people mm. by default. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Not everyone can write a song like that where it captures the imagination like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I do It's just natural, isn't it? Mm. It's a natural thing, man. I think anything you, anything you practice becomes natural after a certain amount of time. How long have you been doing it for? I've been doing... I've been writing and singing. My mum my used to say, stop the noise. Like close the door, mm. but she used to she used to just leave me in my room, and I used to just write all day, man. Some days I never used to go out. Really? Sometimes I used to jump out the window, and she says, "Don't go out." Really? I used to take my little brother with me, jump out the window, come back. We're not in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's mad, man. Some anarchy all type L's. Yeah, mm. man. Now he's got kids. My brother's grown. I look up to my my brother. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say. There you go. So you're you've you, how many how many uh, siblings you got? I've got um, how many brothers and sisters? Yeah. My dad had twenty five kids, obviously with separate baby mums and that. Twenty five. Twenty five kids. Eh? I've only just wow. found a few of them in London. Wow, that's um, a lot of, bro. Twenty five. Twenty five. I've got a sister in Hackney. I'll tell my sister in Hackney. I'll type pops like when like. Yeah. Wow. R.I.P. Pops. Yeah. Rest in peace, Pops. Yeah, when I was three, yeah. Wow. So, but, you know, yeah, he, he left a legacy, clearly. Yeah, he left a legacy. I've got plenty of family to meet, man. It's yeah. interesting. I bet it is. Life's becoming more... Make life interesting, man, because everyone's got things to look forward to. Mm. Yeah, man. Not everyone's going through has extreme hazards. Mm -hmm. We just all go through things, isn't it? It's up mm. to you how you deal with them. Mm, yeah, true. Um, so, originally, you were... F where were you originally from? Um, I come from like Stonebridge area when I was a kid. Like, I used to walk around the precinct, we used to go to Rocky Shop when I was that seven. We was trusted to go out at six or seven. Nice, big up, big up all the Stonebridge lot. North, yeah, man. Northwest, far edge, north, north, come north on, northwest. Like. Come on, go at Gappy Ranks and that mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. he does his thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. And what, so you moved from there at an early age? Yeah, I, got, um, I moved to Camden when I was like 11. Mm. I went to St. Mary's School in Wilsdon. Don't know if you lot know about St. Mary's School in Wilsdon and Bonnets Hill. Of course. Wilsdon, another North West finest for those of you out of town, out of country. That's yeah, man. It's all and in the then, same neck of the woods. So, yeah, I've been I've been on, on Camden since I was 11. Wow. Straight, just trying to explore. But I was exploring in a, in a road mentality way. Mm. But obviously, I was young, innit? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you really, like, lived a life of the city. Yeah, man. I've enjoyed, I'm, I'm getting bored now. I'm actually getting bored. It's time to work now, man. Really? Yeah, I'm getting bored of just getting phone calls. Let's go out, let's go out, let's go. Bruv, how many times have we gone out? How many times do you go out a week? Now, because summertime's coming, <laughs> I would say He's three times a week. Here. Three times a week, but every other day. Or I have a break. Go out three days, then I'll, you won't see me for the rest of the mm -mm. week. Past Sunday, you won't see me. You might see me on Wednesday. So what's wrong with that? Why wouldn't... Because there's a lot of people out there just that are from the country, yeah. and they'll be like, oh, that sounds great. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. 21 and impressionable. They're like, yo, give mm -hmm. me the lights. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where does it Where does it become tedious? As in? As in when... I don't know what that word means. Uh, when Everyone. does it become When does it become too much? Where do you get... When does it get to a point when it gets boring? When things are happening, negative things are happening, start to happen after a certain time, after 12 o'clock, people start to lose their mind. Give me an example of that. Um, someone... Not the one you told me earlier, but... No, no, not the one I told you earlier. <laughs> but so, some, someone, um, I don't know, taking a spliff out of your hand without asking for the spliff or something. A stranger. Who, what, who you don't know? A stranger. That's Camden, Camden, that's Camden Town, man. No, that's a liberty, that is. Yeah, that's Camden. Really? Mm. Is it because of that kind of... It's got a 
the transients of like so many tourists and all sorts of things passing through. People get confused, and if yeah. it's a, air, a, a neighborhood yeah. or they're in the wrong, um, wrong place. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone knows it's a neighborhood. It, uh, everyone from the neighborhood not goes to Camden Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Crazy. It's almost like there should be like a roadmap that's the do's and don'ts of going to this tourist spot. Mm. The high street of Camden is is pretty much your your, your Blackpool Broadwalk yep. where you see everything. But you know those walls have are the curtain, mm-hmm. and behind the curtain mm-hmm. is something else. Yeah, ain't it? Yeah. And I love hanging out with the locals around there. Mm. But you have to be careful, don't you? You have to be careful, man. It's one of the most dangerous areas people can go to it is in yeah. london yeah it's mad isn't it but yeah just wherever you go just treat people good man like yeah yeah and don't go places for no reason that's when you're getting yourself in trouble yeah like let's just go there like i jumped on the train to scotland me and my guy said let's just jump on the train to scotland mm-hmm. we went to scotland mm-hmm. we didn't have nowhere to stay we just got, got on, we didn't have no money just went there that's yeah stupid. but you've got fans like that bro like you could but, probably hit, you could you probably message people out and go like yeah who's in scotland right now let's go party. but na- <laughs> yeah, now i could do that now i could do that and say, who's in Liverpool? Mm. You know what I mean? That's not bad. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Linguistics. Can I just say, actually, yeah. while we're on the su- subject of linguistics, yeah. uh, your singing voice, mm. it's almost Arabic. It's got, it's got a, a snake charmer sound to it. Am yeah, I right? Yeah, it is. I, I, do, I did listen to, like, Punjabi MC, that... Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard. Yeah, I listened to that a lot, and mm. maybe it just hit my soul, blood, and... Mm. I woke up one day and there was that rinse. What is that? And it's just, time. And it, make, it makes me feel calm when I'm singing it. Yeah. Not when I'm on stage, because that's the excited one. Yeah. When I'm just doing it like, <laughs> like that one makes me more. But you know how much, that's... how that, like, again, just to go back to the snake charm yeah. thing, that, that, that draws people in. Mm. It's curious. It's a curious sound. Mm, mm, Do you mm, know what I mean? Mm, mm. Especially as a Londoner doing it, mm. it's like, yep. Yeah. Because it's got universal appeal as well. Because I'm Jamaican as well. That's like, right. How does this guy sound like he's Arabic? Because that gives it the international appeal. But our ancestors are uh, um, uh, um, Arabic. Yeah. yeah, there you go. We all come from one place. Yeah, yeah. The whole world's related. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love talking to, to you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I found out Believe. the other day that my great, great granddad mm. was black. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's mad. That's you'd crazy. never, ever, ever, I would never have known. Mm, mm. Ain't that something? That's right? It just goes to show, innit, that, yeah, you know, yeah. don't be a dickhead. Yeah, move be like nice. a dickhead, yeah. treat you like a dickhead. Yeah, because, yeah. yeah. you know, never know nothing. I don't tolerate any of that shit anymore. No, no, I, know. I can see you're a serious guy. You just yeah. want to work, bro. I'm here, I'm here, man. I know, I can see it in your eyes, but I can see it. You just want to work, bro. Yeah, yeah, well, after a couple of these wild guns, we'll see what my eyes are looking <laughs> like. <now. laughs> my thing's nearly good. <laughs> I like my like, thing's Wave patrol. Yeah, man. So while we're three quarters of the way through the wild Right, let's yeah. get in some. Let's get in some deep. So, Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right. Waving, yeah. waving. Are we allowed to speak? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yo, so we are uh, we are <laughs> in Camden, and you grew up there. When did you get into? Because you got into the grime and the garage scene early, didn't you? Like, yeah, man. this was before the before the acclaims elsewhere. Yeah, I went to school with Dappy and Phaser, innit? They was uh, they was in the same year as me in in Haverstock, which are end ups. End dubs, right. uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, Talisa mm-hmm. went to the same school as me. All three of them did, didn't it? Yeah. Big up Phaser, man. That's up my Faiza, guy. Man. Yeah, he's he was on the other one as well. I seen Phaser on one of your podcasts. Yeah, he's a well. sweetheart, man. Lovely yeah, guy. Yeah, man. Big up you lot as well. They're back. Mm-hmm. They're, they're coming back. back. But yeah. they're super busy. Super busy. I understand. Mm-hmm. Super busy. I'm. Get, I'm getting there, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tight. So, so what? So you went to school with them? Went to school with them. We used to go Dollis Hill. His so dad used to take us Channel U era to Dollis Hill um, studio yeah. out right outside Dollis Hill train st- um, underground. And um, his dad really believed in us. And I was a kid that really didn't want to listen, but he was there to help me. Oh, so his their dad. Got... Their dad got them in the studio at young ages. Mm-hmm. Paid for the studio. Like they had a studio. To yeah. For them to record and things like that. And were you connected in that process? I was, yeah, I was. But I was making mad tunes, innit? Them, them guys were making bangers, innit? Mm. From young, bro. Mm. Yeah, they've been making bangers from, from early, man. Isn't it funny that um, the, the, the path you have to... It's almost like you have to find... And a lot of musicians and artists will relate to this. Mm. You almost got to get that shit out of your system first before mm. you can actually consider bangers being acceptable for yourself. Mm. To, mm. Well, I don't know where that comes from, but mm. Mm. some mm. people can just switch it on like a light yeah. and make a pop song. Yeah, quickly. Yeah. In seconds. But we, yeah, it's because we make our own sorts of music, music innit? That's yeah. what it is, man. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's totally. all types of music. So if you want make that type of music, then you're gonna make that type of music. Yeah, if yeah. It bangs it, bangs if it don't. Man. <laughs> if it don't, if it don't bang it, don't bang. But then let's get into this. Mm. So influences wise, mm. when I hear you on Pyro Radio, yeah. on different mixes. I've been on Rinse as well. Rinse as well, hold tight yeah, rinse. Hold tight Big shout out DJ Argue as well, that's yeah, my guy. Yeah. Uh, dude. I've got another set on Rinse as well coming. Really? Mm. Your attack on things. And I might add, mm. you take that shit so seriously. Anyone that is a fan of Rinse and you've seen the way he operates. I love dude, it. You dominate. You're like, you put your finger up, tell people to shut up, I'm about to go in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I tell my own brethren, shut up, bro, shut up. Hold <laughs> tight, Danny. I didn't mean yeah, it like that. Hold tight, Danny. I just want to concentrate, Dan, man. Yeah. <laughs> My brother Danny Cole. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny, Danny always says that. Yeah, you're like, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he understands, man. <laughs> yeah. He understands. Yeah, but he said that's the mark of a someone that's got a clear distinction on where he wants to go. Mm -hmm. He do just you... needs, everyone needs guidance, bro. Yeah, yeah. Everyone needs guidance, bro. But do you feel like you, you know, this has been a journey from the beginning, you know, your, your, your freestyle sessions, all the things that you've done over to, to this point where you are now. Mm. You know, you got a whole bunch of tunes stacked up, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Do you EP out soon? Get me burning pages. Yeah, yeah. We we'll, we'll do a joint as well. Remind. Yeah. Come, come on. on. Mm. I, I got to say, it feels, it looks, it seems mm. like it's mapped. From outside the box, I love that energy. It seems like it to me as well, but there's more of a percentage what you, the, the outside of the box can see. Mm. So you lot can see more. On what's happening for me. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at the eyes of the people that are watching, yeah. engaging it like that? Yeah. <sighs> Which I guess is what the views are about, what the numbers mm. are about, mm. what the intentions are, mm. and how it's response, mm. what the response mm. is. Mm. Mm. Exactly. It's kind of exactly. a marketing machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> networking. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many heads do you think you throw on, on your shoulders a day? I mean, one minute you're a rapper, next minute you're doing vocals and doing production, next mm. minute you're here doing things like this. Like, how many heads do you reckon an artist needs a day? Um, how many do you have? How many artists? How many heads do you have? Let's go with that. As in artists that do music? As in you, like you, in a day in, day out. Because not everybody likes to be their own marketing person. Mm. I mean, a lot of us would rather just shut the door and turn the studio sign on and say, I'm out for two weeks, you know? Mm. It's hard, isn't it, to mm. switch over? Mm, mm, like, how mm. easy is it for you to do that? Oh, it's becoming more easy because it's um, consistent within doing different things, isn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, what, so you're able to pattern it up with other things that you're doing? Yeah, and just look forward to the next category of within music and just wait and just enjoy it. Which is why you like freestyling, isn't it? Love it, blood. Love it. <laughs> Love it, Brad. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just go in. Yeah, man. We'd be outside. Yeah. And you're like, beatbox man, come here. <laughs> want, yeah, <laughs> when I've had a few of me. Yeah, yeah it was fucking great. Yeah, And the man. next thing, it's on. Yeah. So how people see me on the camera is that this guy is exciting. Why is it not like that when I approach him? I, you've got people knowing to know how to approach me. That's how it goes, isn't it? Mm. But do you, yes, and there are two sides to Rinse, and this is why we're getting into this conversation here because there really is. And mm. you on camera, yeah. of course, there's a commonality, but you as Rinse, the, the human mm. who, who has to live this life, mm. totally different, I feel. Because mm -hmm. you, you, can't, you can't put all your personality into your music. It's only going to be a category of your personality. Mm. Yeah. So mm. I'm not going to be. You're not going to hear me talk about love songs and talking about the streets at, at the same time. I might pop up with a few songs, mm. but I like to make, I want to educate the streets. Because you, yes, yeah, so, yeah, I get you. One eye open when I'm sleeping. That's it's, educating the streets. It's so educating the, if the streets. door knocks, make sure that you go and check the door and it don't leave the door knocking on it. Go and check the door. Mm. Yeah, man, that could be anyone knocking your door. You're speaking for a minority mm. of people. Mm a class of people in the streets mm -hmm. that for a lot of people mm. in the higher powered offices of record labels yeah. never get a chance to. I hear that. You know what I'm saying? I hear that. Do you think there's, do you think there's a demand for it within the, the, the industry? Do you yeah. think they, I think so, yeah. There's no more youth clubs. What's happening with that? Yeah. If I had enough money, I'll, get, I'll buy a youth club, I'll buy a building yeah. and create a youth club within that building. Thousand fucking percent, bro. I want to be a music teacher, innit? Yeah. Yeah, I want to sit down in a class like they teach maths and English, and I reckon I can do it still if I gave if I was given the opportunity to do that. 
I'd evaluate that. It's all about how you talk to people with within the, the, the peer group. Mm-hmm. If you're if you're like a head of the peer, in, in, you're a peer in the group, mm. then that's a that's a whole different. That's whole a whole different ball game. That's a whole different currency. Yeah, because, because you know the famous the famous side of things. I can't even go to McDonald's, man. Sometimes I feel like I've been I'm being crowded mm. with too many people coming to me in it. Mm. So maybe it's not for me. Mm. But I'll still do something within music. I'm not going to quit music. And just to highlight again, because I can't stress yeah. this enough, like yeah. he's talking real facts. Mm. I've well, I've I've been privy to mm. having Rinsa on my show doing a performance on mm. the live stream. If you haven't mm. checked out the live stream, you're missing a trick. He's mm-hmm. but it's just a, such a great show, mm-hmm. such a great performance Thank by you. Know. But more more interestingly is after mm. the show. Mm-hmm. Um, He's sitting there minding his own business and I'm seeing a gaggle of fucking kids walk past him. He doesn't even notice it. I'm watching it all play out. Mm, you they're saw all, it. Mm. Yo, they're all looking at each other going, one eye, one eye, doing the signal. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, my guy is, you're, you're, you're famous. There's seven, seven-year-old seven kids saying, that's him, mummy. That's what it's, it's mad, isn't it? Like, yeah. Um, group of schoolgirls outside McDonald's screaming like a Michael Jackson blood. Like, it's mental, bro. Beatles mania. Some I said, yo, you cool, and they all screamed. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not used to that, innit? But we're all human. Yeah. Treat me like I'm human. Try yeah, yeah, to yeah, treat yeah. me like I'm human. And I'll come out. Yeah. I'll come out every day. Does it ever get too much work? Because I'm a bit... Listen, I'll get in trouble. Whether you're Brian Harvey or Dappy mm. or whoever, mm. I'm sure because you've got a famous face, Yeah. That's that must be pay, take its toll on a lot of celebrity faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine you get that mm. a lot. Yeah, all the time, man. All the time, all the time, man. Mm. All the time. Just enjoying the wagwan as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Tasty. Yes. And we ain't sponsored by them as well. I promise you. This, is, this was literally just something he was like, yeah, try this. I was like, what? He ain't tasted it yet, no. but he's tasted it now. He's, he's, he's banging, man. It's better than the other Magnum, 100%. I'm, uh, I'm totally It's a too addictive, bro. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's sweet. Family, um, family trees, uh, influencing, being the... Uh, um, Admirer of, of your family, how they received your uh, your uh, critical claim? Um, Miss, my cousin Miss Dynamite is proud of me. It's my family. Yeah. Hold tight, Miss Dynamite. Tight, oh Ms. shit! Hold tight, Miss Dynamite. Hold time, Dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> Boom! Right, there she is. There you go. There she is. Mm. But um, yeah, she's 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 proud, and I did say to her like, "How come you never used to help, man? When I used to ask for help and that." But then you you you, you can't get no help if you ain't if there's no. Mm. If there's no result within you been trying, so yeah, she said that she's proud of me now because she can see that I've been trying. And you've been working it. You can't help someone that's not trying. Mm, for sure. With anything, bro. And big up with Carla as well. And yeah, hold tight. Hold tight Carla and and of course Dexter, hold tight Dexter. Dexter. Hold tight Dwayne. My guy. Get me. <laughs> Bake slams six one six one twenty eight. But yeah. Oh tight, come yeah, on. Yeah man, yeah man. Um, how many kids? Have I got? Yeah. I want the fifth one. I want to meet the right girl to have the fifth one with and just settle down with her. Do you think that comes with the package? Like, you come from a 25 uh, sibling family. Yeah. It, it, it almost suggests that by default, you're, <laughs> you, that, you're going to want big family. My, my cousin said I'm going to have 10 kids before I'm 40, but I'm 36 this year, so I don't think he's correct. <laughs> I don't think he's correct. The man don't even have the money. To be looking after ten kids, so, does... I would love to have a football team. That's my that's my spirits. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's, that's, that's yo. I've spirits. never thought about it like that. Yeah, man, it's it's mad. When you have kids, you feel something. Part of me feels so free to do whatever I want to do. Why is that? Because my spirits are there. I look at my son and I'm like, that's me. So I can just do. I can do much more for him by doing anything I want to do. In a positive way, brother. Not yeah, in a negative way. Yeah, no, I one. get you, I get you, I get you. I used to think like that. When I, I'm not going to lie. I used to think, I've had kids now. Fuck it, I'll do what I want. I'll do what I want. I can go to prison. I can do anything I want. Really? Is that... Yeah, that, because... How did you... How did, you, how did that make sense? How did you, how did you figure that? Because it's like, I, I, I just, I just want to know that I, I always wanted a son. Mm. That's, what, that's what it is. Oh, so, the, oh and so you've done it and then that's and it. That's, that was, that, I'm off to the races. I'm yeah, done. I don't care about money. I don't want to be rich. I just want to be nice. And I want to help people. Yeah. 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 Do you I think don't want to a... be rich. Rich and being nice is two different things. Everyone's gasping to be to, to, to be rich because of the country. Because the country's yeah. cramped up. Yeah. It is an exclusive exclusive country. Yes, it is. 
And, and they're all building upwards. What people won't yeah. understand is they're all building upwards. Yeah, and we need it means there's a lot more people on the ground. Exactly. We need more conferences, man. Mm. Like buildings where we can all sit down, one man with a microphone, talking about subjects, what we're talking about Bus now. up, bus up, yeah. And also, like you were saying, at schools, youth centres, places like yeah, that where people I can actually... start going down to schools and colleges and, and just asking them if I can just stand up for 20 minutes once a week just to see if I can um, evaluate some things to people and just take in some questions. Anyone got any questions? Mm. Who likes music? Who feels like they're, they're not... I'm like a teacher. I'm yeah, like yeah. a versatile teacher like yeah. within music, man. But do you yeah. think this is this is a complex question? I wouldn't want to get into this space where you felt like um, you you had to answer it in a way that that made you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. In twenty twenty two, going into twenty twenty three, do yeah. you feel like I mean, five quick five kids is one thing, mm. but to bring up a kid mm. now, especially financially mm. or in any other way, mm. it's a different landscape to when we were kids. Like how, yes. how, how how does that work? Yes, iPads. Kids want iPads. That that my son's three. He's gonna be four like next month. That's an iPad now. Yeah, he wants an iPad now. <laughs> and what do you say to him? Because these things are like 400, 500 bones or something, isn't it? It's a I lot try of money. to do more like reading or like do something with yeah. instead of looking at the iPad, we'll do some other activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, that even me looking at the laptop, my eyes are my brain's just. Because it's it's all it's all it's all connected, man. It, it draws you into it. It's radiation. Do you have ADHD? Is there an ADHD thing going on? Um, yeah, I got a cleaning ADHD. Ah, yeah. I see. And that was just my total intuition kicking. In. Mm, mm, mm. Because uh, I, now when I see addictive personality as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you? But you need to balance that. What what constitutes what what's an addictive personality? What is that? Um, when the spliff tastes nice, and then you just say fuck it. Instead of thinking about you don't need another spliff, you just smoke another one. <laughs> yeah, I have that with drink. I have that yeah. with podcasts. Yeah. I have that with beatboxing. No, the <laughs> podcast is the one. Yeah, yeah. That is the that's the one that you want to have the the, the 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 addiction to podcasts. Dangerous though. Next year you'll be having a pot. You have bad girl Riri sitting in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me. Ooh, keep it moving, innit? Keep it? it moving. How many times do you get in the studio a week? I try to get in there at least three times a week. Three know, times so, a week? Yeah, just to get some ideas. If it's not yeah. recording, just hooks and ideas or getting someone else in the studio. You like you like working with other people, innit? Yeah, I love that. People yeah. used to say, why do you keep helping people? Why aren't you doing solos, Rince? Because there's people out there that I can see, if I give them upliftment, they, they're going to they're gonna continue. I'm not God, but I'm just here to help people, innit? Like I said to you. Mm. Yeah, you've got a, <clears throat> I think also, because you've got like your own, you, you've got your own techniques and styles and you've got your own, I don't know, you're ident- so much more identifiable on a track. Like, you just know it's you as well. Come on. That's one thing I noticed. So I guess when you're in a collaboration, not only are you vibing, you're getting, you know, the cooperation with other people around you. Mm. But it's just a level of comfort, isn't it? To know that you know where your position is. Yeah, yeah, I would say that, yeah. yeah. Is it hard to do your own album with that in mind? No, 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 no. But I wouldn't rush the album. Because I don't even write. <laughs> really? I don't write. Well, you just freestyle. If I have four magnums and I go, we've had one now. I go, if I go back home and have two more and I get an idea about a track, I'll, I'll write it. I won't sit there trying to write three, four songs in a, and all of that, bro. Because that's just you're forcing it, man. Really? So what? Have you never you've never written down any of your lyrics? No, no, I do. But I only, when I get the idea, when I oh, get the when I get the spirit, no, yeah, when yeah. I get the spirit, then right. I'll write the tune. I won't just just write for no reason. Yeah. And feel, let me let me see what I can write. I don't do that. I do it when I want to. When I feel like doing. Have you ever done that before? What written by to to, to spec that? Oh, I'm going to write today. Has yeah, 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 yeah. I still do that. And it doesn't work. Nah, it don't work. On a, it don't work. Um, not the way that. Not the way I use. use really. It. Yeah. Do you freestyle raw freestyle? Because one one thing that I've noticed in the last maybe two years, mm. big up Semtex. He was actually one of the many oh, of the big kind up of Semtex. yeah all day. You know. Mm. Um, uh, he, he, I think the UK hip hop scene, mm. and I say that in a broad sense, not just the, the you know the the one lane, mm. because I think UK hip hop by default has become a lot more broader. Mm-hmm. They've accepted you in a real mindful way, haven't they? That's what Sem Semtex said. That's what he said. That's what Sem said, didn't it? Mm. He said, "I've never seen no one get so much support." Yeah. Yeah, that's scary as well, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's trying, scary I'm still trying to suss out what the, <laughs> What did you do, man? I don't know, Chris. I don't know what's happening to me, bro. What do your grind friends think of it? What do your grind peers think? Like, cause you... I don't get the same love as I did before, man. I don't, man. Why is that? 
Because when everyone's coming up, we're all on the same kind of getting out there. But you can't be too good. You can't be better than, you can't you be can't be better doing than me. Something. You can't be better than me. Do you think that still exists? No, that's just normal. That's, uh, yeah, that's life. If, if one of my guys was bigger than me, you'd be one supporting of my guys, him. Yeah, you'd be, I'll be supporting him. You'd be backing it. I might not know how to support him straight away, but I, I, if you're a real friend, yeah. you will eventually yeah. support him consistently. Otherwise, that's not your friend. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I think there's a trait in that that's in what older I, UK hip hop as that's well. That's what I would say. A lot of things have changed. Yeah. But I would say this, though. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed, yeah. and this is only through me, you know, being friends with a few and, mm. you know, dipping in and out. Mm. But there is this, uh, there are some heads at the table where mm. Grimes concerned. Mm. And they kind of, they cherry pick who is going to be the next through the net. Mm, 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 mm. Drum and bass has that as well. And mm. I think UK hip hop has it when it wants it. Yeah. But they but sometimes when you go off when you go off the narrative mm. that they are setting mm. and you're saying, no, I'm doing it this way. They don't like they it. They don't like it. They don't like it. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad, isn't it? They oh. don't like it, man. Well, it's fine, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, everyone's entitled to their own, mm. own thing. Mm. I just think, it, just going back to the point, I, I just think it's awesome that you, somehow, within the context of one eye, mm. it then... You had all the connotations, all the little in jokes about, you know, bad girl Riri, you know. Yeah, man. I, I, like, I like Rihanna. <laughs> I like Beyonce. Yeah. I like Nicki Minaj. I like Cardi B. I like Summer Walker. Mm. I like the vibe, man. Who doesn't? But now when you if talk you... about N-dubs, I'm now thinking My that's where your that's where the DNA lies. So you yeah. that's that's a different proposition. I've I've been raised within music as within a, a teenager within end ups. At a different thing. And a different thing. So it wasn't necess it wasn't specifically grime. We used to call be called Little Rinses. That's that's what our old school name was, Little Rinses. That is so sick. Yeah man, we was close, very close. We're still close now, we just become we're just grown up, man. But that's why I still look after them. That's why them. things are the way they are. Yeah. That's why people can't quite capture it because I reckon mm. now that end ups coming back mm. there will be a different mindset into the way people consume mm. British music yeah yeah It'll they get mad love though they get mad love I'm not gonna lie yeah dappy dappy big phones and that mm. Brixton we went to Brixton yeah it was mad fam Brixton Arena it was mad stuff. really crazy man crazy do you think you could handle that yeah, I was on stage with I was on stage with that P on the, uh, in the the last Brooks and you know when he was on his tour. It but, was mad. But you also get it now. Yeah. You said earlier that you may not be able to. Yeah, yeah, nothing's cover. promised because mm. uh, I'm just in, like I said, do, doing. Do you know what the whole thing is? Going out to, and be feeling confident. I never used to speak to people unless I'm spoken to. So, the the the, the human I've evolved into. It's just changed my life as a person mm. where I can make a conversation now and I can engage and help somebody. That's mm. what I'm trying to say. Mm. So even if it, I don't get on a stage like certain people are getting on the stage, I'm still going to do something with the music because I'm mm. still going to want to help someone. Mm. So I might become an A&R, I don't know. Who knows? But mm. that's, I think you need to have money for to be an A&R, isn't it? I thought that. I mean, if there's any A&Rs watching... Which how would you are. sign someone without giving them money? Yeah. And how would you be working without the money and how's that? There's got to be some sort There must be a way. But I don't think everything's revolved around money now. So mm. that wouldn't work because you've got to buy stuff for that, mm. that, that, that artist. You've got to put money into that artist. You know, one thing I learned as well, as, as I've been growing up in this thing, mm. is it ain't just money that rotates, it's, uh, it's postcodes. Yep. Because as soon as your kid is near a school, yep. they will fight to for now. They'll, they'll, mm. they'll stab their own work colleague in the back. Exactly. To keep that postcode. Exactly, postcode is another one as well. See, they think the postcode wars is only in, on the streets. Mm -mm. No, the postcode. The postcode very... thing it revolves around different categories of things. Real, realist, real talk. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, <I'm> mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the future, my brother? What's the future in this game? Future is just to um, keep treating people good, and to like keep telling myself nothing's promised because you get excited for something that don't happen and you're just gonna be feel pissed about it. Mm. So. Mm. You haven't had too many of them, no. Just sure. enjoy what's going on. You haven't it. had too many of them, have you? What's that? Things that you that, 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 that have been promised that didn't happen. I can't, I can't imagine at this point in. Oh yeah, growing up, of course, man. 
Oh, yeah, I'm talking, talking about in Korea. When I, was a kid, when I was a teenager. I, oh, I mean, in Korea. Huh? I mean, in, in, in my Korea. music career. Yeah. Seems to me that like it's been, like, again, mapped out and present and correct. You're doing it by numbers. It seems to be going great, no? Yeah, I'm, yeah, because I'm, maybe I'm using my brain, correct? Maybe mm. I'm using my brain right mm. within the music. I'm just, like I said, it's natural. Cause mm -hmm. Got to say big up Skinny Man as well, because yeah. seeing you support him mm. was just so good. Like yeah. Camden mm. on road. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, G. Camden was out on mm. force. Mm. Mm. That was, yeah, man. Come down to Camden, man. You get me? Come see Killer Keller. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. Come Killer on. Keller live show, yeah, as not... always. Big up yeah. Camden Open Air Gallery as well. Big up Mongo as well. Mm. Big up my boy Rust. All them guys. Come on. Yeah. Skinny. Yeah. All that. All yeah, that. Yeah, man. Well, my bro, it's been a pleasure having you on, my guy. Yeah, can we run a little instrumental? Yeah? Yeah. All right, dude, give me a bassy one, innit? Mm. Grime tempo. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a remix for a Wiley, yeah? Old time Wiley. His one, his one was, oi, stupid. Yeah, this one's mad, yo. Oi, Dumbo, you don't wanna come here and get Dumbo Last pussy all that tried to get Dumbo Left in a body back dumb, that's what you got for being Dumbo Oi, Dumbo, you don't wanna come here and get Dumbo Last pussy all that tried to get Dumbo Left in a man just dumb, that's what you got for being dumb Look Getting a mic, I like Wiley. Rinse on my lowland boy, better know him. Copper done tracks, I was waiting. Highly rinse, freezing cold like it's ice cream. Rinse, yeah, I'm attached to the grind scene. Rinse, still promoting like Cadbury's. Rinse a lot, yeah, you can never match me. Rinse a lot, yeah, you can never match me. Hate is still trying to verbal attack me. They're saying that I'm one of the best in the country. Where I went primary school with Bradley. My last teacher was Felicity. Don't try to violate Annabelle, Naomi, or Kingsley. Reese, Lamar, Dwayne, Diamond, Angel, Rihanna, Renee. Yo! Nine kings in that, you know. Oh, tight. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard yeah. Malone inside the place. Thank you, man. Once again, yeah? Big love you always. Got, um, you lot should have, if you can see. Oh, yeah, if you're, if you're watching and not listening, yeah. uh, we're pointing at the new set. We've got going on, that's fine. Killer Keller's going to let me do the next podcast and let me interview our artists. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Come on, well, that's a that. great idea. There you go. Cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> put, yeah, yeah, put copyright. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> rinse them alone inside the place. Come on. You know what it is, man. Sharing is caring. Don't forget, spread the love, spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend. See Tom Borough. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they. You stay lucky, people. I'll take them, man. Don't talk to an I wouldn't. Peace. See you later, mate. <laughs>